What's up guys, my name is Jal Papeno, and today uh, we're back in Everlasting Summer. Um, nobody really responded to my um, suggestions video, so I've made an executive decision. I mean, it's my channel, so I shouldn't make the, de the executive decisions. But this uh, series has had probably the most views out of the series that I've had, that I've done. So I think people like it, so for now I'm just gonna go back to it. So, lo load game. There we go. I'll get rid of my cursor. I don't remember how to play this game. Okay. Although I did like the site, Olga Dimitrinova followed me out in a minute. Here, take this. Now it is your home, too. She handed me a key. I put it in my pocket. Home. Of course, if you disregard how phantasmagoric the current events were, this camp was far from being the worst place on Earth. But to call it home? Just after one day spent here? I doubt I'll ever be able to. Alright, let's go. We're late. What about the sandwiches? Just eat on the way! <laughs> oh, I remember how uncomfortable this game makes me feel. We were passing along the lines of Pioneer's Cabins while I was tucking away the ham sandwiches and Olga Dmitrievna kept on talking and talking. She was buzzing like a game of Operation with Parkinson's. <laughs> oh, okay. But I cared about nothing but the food. Understood? Huh? You weren't listening. Sorry. Yeah. Today is the first day of your new life as a pioneer. You should... Do your best so that it becomes a happy life. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm serious. A pioneer has many duties. Great responsibility is conferred to him. Participate in social work to help the juniors. To study, to study, and to study again. We all here like one big family. We are here like one big family. And you will become a part of it. Yeah, a part. I'd even sign a party membership card if it would save me from listening to this nonsense. I hope that after your term here is over, you'll keep the most pleasant memories about our camp. Memories that will last your whole life. And when will this term end? Why do you keep asking silly things? It seems I won't get any information from her. A shame, really. This world appears to be so friendly, but it never bothered to introduce itself to me. Perhaps now I take things somewhat easier than yesterday. It seems like we have some unspoken ceasefire with it. It isn't trying to hurt me, but I'm forbidden from asking questions. Of course, this situation isn't a pleasant one, but what can I do about it? A bad piece is better than a good dispute. I don't know. The most important thing for you now is to make the best of the time you'll spend here. I'll do my best. Honestly, I was very tired from this conversation. It would be good to know, where is that here? Where is that here? But, we came to the square. Pioneers already lined up. This music though. Oh my gosh, it's so loud! Ah! I'll have to, uh, turn that down and post. I might have to stop right here and, like, turn it down, it's, it's too loud. Ah! Okay. What, somebody's not here yet? Hmm, nope, all here. She looked around her brave pioneer troops. Alright, just stand somewhere. Weird. Why did she tell me there's no more sleeping places? While the chief was running her mouth about our plans for the week, I stared at the people. Quite the interesting group here. A few heads away from me stood Electronic. A little further, Lena and Slavia. And the end of the line, Uliana and Melissa. Everyone I met were here. Olga <laughs> oh. Dmitrievna spoke about some competitions and I turned my attention to the monument. Genda. Could not remember any revolutionary with a similar name. He had a weird posture too, as if he looked as if he looks around with distrust, maybe contempt or even disdain. Probably some local leader. Daydreaming again. Slavia bought brought me back to reality. 
Olga Dmitrievna stood nearby. Still remember the plan for next week? The plan? The plan? I will never forget! Perfect. She looked at Slavia. Did you get it? Yes. Slavia handed me a piece of paper. It's a checklist. Here are four positions to check. Do it all today. Before you start, sign up for a club. There are some clubs in the clubhouse and a music club in the separate building. Then visit the infirmary. And finally, visit the library. Got it? Yes. Checklist seemed like a good chance of finding out something. Since I had to go to places I have never been to. I have been to never okay. Then come on, start right now. <clears throat> what about lunch? Don't worry, I'll bring you some more sandwiches. No, not more sandwiches. Checklist is more important. Good luck. And they went away fast enough for me not to ask anything else. Miss breakfast, now I'll miss lunch too. This ain't good. Maybe I'll manage it in time somehow. Lunch starts at 1 p.m. Then again, if I, I'll go there. Then again, if I'll go there, I might miss a place from the checklist. Okay, it's too early to go to the canteen anyway. Let's go to the um clubhouse. I went to the clubhouse. You darn right, you did. To tell the truth, I never really liked extracurricular activities. At school, I used to find any excuse to skip extra classes. At the university, I had no interest to participate in the student council. I was not interested in boxing, aero modeling, or sewing. So I came here just to check the box. Nobody was there. I found myself in something like a hut of a junior robot enthusiast. There were wires and simple printed circuits scattered everywhere. Chips and on the table probably stood an oscillograph. O oscillograph. Okay. I heard voices from another room, and then two pioneers appeared. One was electronic. The other one I didn't know. No, that was a terrible, terrible thing I said. Um, hi, Simeon. We've been expecting you. It seems he knows everything about everyone. Why were you expecting me? Well, of course, because you came to sign into our club of cybernetics, didn't you? He didn't let me answer. And this is Shurik. He's in charge here. I assume there's only two of you in the club? Well, you can say that's three now. Shurik came to me and assertively offered his hand. His face was somewhat familiar. Welcome to the club! Ha! <laughs> yep. <laughs> that would be my reaction to that. would be, yep. Now I'll show you around. Make yourself at home. Er, guys, I just wanted to... We're always welcoming new members. He said it in such a way that I suddenly got an anthem of Soviet Union playing in my head. It's amazing, I remember, I even remember the words, in the first grade I had a copy book with the text on the back. Uh, no, I just wanted to sign my checklist. Yep, you sign in the club, we'll sign your checklist. He grinned. I was getting ready to a long and boring argument, <clears throat> but then I heard someone enter. I looked back and saw Slavia. Ah, Simon, I hope they're not giving you any trouble. She narrowed her eyes, looking at the future of Motherland's robotic industry. I know these two. They can. <laughs> they can. Well, you know, I actually, I just need to sign my checklist. I decided to take advantage of the situation. No problem, give it to me. Slavi took the paper and stuck it to the trick. Sign it. Hold on, we haven't done yet. Let me just... What is this? Uh, no. no it's, is it on? Uh, oh no. Go. No game. No. Back. I just wanted to. Uh, no. Um. Uh, uh, hold on. We haven't done yet. Okay. I, I just just making sure I wasn't being terrible. Oh. I scrolled and it went further. Uh. Okay, we haven't done yet. <laughs> done, sign it now. She gave Shrek such a threatening look that made him lost every possible objection. He wrote some squigglies at the checklist, and I thanked Slavia, then moved on with a mellow mood. Okay. Thank you, Slavia. Let's go to music club. The musical club, 
A small one-level building was located some distance from the other camp's buildings. I opened the door and came in without hesitation. <coughs> there were enough instruments for a whole orchestra here, the drums, the guitars, and even a piano. I spent some time looking closer at every instrument, wanted to guess the time period there from, but suddenly I heard the crawling sound coming from underneath the piano. One sec. Ah, uh, adjusting my mic. Oh, 